Imagine trying to eat your in-flight dinner at the back of this aeroplane. This wallowing effect is called a Dutch roll. But before we show you how the Dutch roll works, let's talk about lateral and directional stability of an aeroplane. When an aeroplane is disturbed in a roll, the lift tilts to the side with the aeroplane. The tilted lift vector causes the aeroplane to side slip in the direction of the roll. Now, the aeroplane is subjected to a sideways component of the relative airflow. As the aeroplane side slips, the lower swept back wing generates more lift than the upper wing. This is because in a side slip, the lower wing presents more of its wingspan to the relative airflow than the upper wing. As the lower wing generates more lift, it recovers the aeroplane back to the wing's level attitude. When the aeroplane recovers without any pilot input, in the lateral plane this is called lateral stability. Lateral stability can also be further improved with dihedral. Strong lateral stability may cause the aeroplane to roll back beyond its wing's level attitude in a sequence of decreasing oscillations. Directional stability of an aeroplane is its natural ability to recover from a disturbance in the yawing plane. When disturbed into a yaw from its straight path, the aeroplane continues moving sideways in the original direction. The vertical stabiliser is now experiencing an angle of attack that generates a sideways facing lift force, which restores the aeroplane to its original position. The greater the vertical stabiliser area, the greater the directional stability of the aeroplane. Again, strong directional stability may cause the aeroplane to yaw back beyond its straight path in a sequence of decreasing oscillations. Sometimes, lateral and directional stability effects act in conflict with each other. A Dutch roll happens when lateral stability is strong and directional stability is weak. A Dutch roll may be set in motion when an aeroplane is disturbed in a roll or a yaw. Let's have a look at how Dutch roll develops when the aeroplane rolls to the right. As the aeroplane rolls and side slips to the right, it subsequently begins to recover thanks to the strong lateral stability. However, the lower wing now generates more drag because it generates more lift. More drag on the right wing causes a yaw to the right. The weaker directional stability attempts to restore the aeroplane back onto its path as the aeroplane overshoots in a roll to the left. The restoring forces of lateral and directional stability are out of phase with each other. In a Dutch roll, each oscillation is smaller than the previous one until the aeroplane settles back into straight and level flight once again. <laughs>